mile long stretch of water between Little Gull Island and Fishers Island to the northeast, known as the Race, marks the place where Long Island Sound, Block Island Sound, and Fishers Island Sound all meet. The race develops currents in excess of five knots and has been treacherous to navigation for centuries. Many vessels traveling through the race in rough conditions were wrecked on race rock about 3,200 feet off the southern tip of Fishers Island. An unlighted beacon was placed on race rock around 1712 and a lighthouse went into service at Little Gull Island at the southern end of the race in 1805. Finally, in the 1860s, enough funds were appropriated for a lighthouse on Race Rock. Francis Hopkinson Smith of New York was contracted to begin work on the foundation for the lighthouse in 1871. In addition to being a successful contractor, Smith, a native of Baltimore, was an engineer, artist, author, and art critic. He worked as a naval engineer in New York City following the Civil War. He designed the foundation for the Statue of Liberty and many breakwaters in the area, including Block Islands and the seawall around Governor's Island in New York. Smith's 1896 novel, Tom Grogan, and his 1898 novel, Caleb West, Master Diver, were each the best-selling books in the United States in the years of their release. He wrote and illustrated numerous travelogues, and several of his books were adapted into plays and films. His paintings and sketches often depicted scenes in Europe and Mexico. For the building of Race Rock Lighthouse, Smith hired Captain Thomas Scott as the foreman. Scott was a diver who was familiar with the waters around Race Rock. On June 24, 1872, early in the morning, Captain Scott's boat headed out from New London, Connecticut to Race Rock with 13 men and a load of stone for the foundation. A short distance from the dock, the boat exploded. Of the 13 men on board, three died, and most of the rest of the men, including Scott himself, were injured. By 1873, the original riprap stone foundation that was completed in late 1871 using 10,000 tons of stone was found to be unstable and additional funds were appropriated to build a concrete foundation instead. A shanty was erected for the workers on the foundation and Smith lived with the crew during the working season. His later novel, Caleb West, Master Diver, was based on the experience with the central character modeled on Thomas Scott. The foundation was laid in four concentric layers. It took until the end of 1875 for the foundation and two courses of the granite pier for the lighthouse to be completed. The pier's 14 courses were finished by the end of 1877. It took only another season to build the granite lighthouse itself, and the light went into service on January 1, 1879. The two-story dwelling is built in a Gothic Revival style with the light tower mounted on the center of the front of the building. The dwelling had five bedrooms on its second floor and for years accommodated a principal keeper and two assistants and their families. The light was automated in 1978, just shy of its 100th birthday. In 2013, ownership was transferred to the New London Maritime Society of New London, Connecticut.